Personal Finance PowerPoint Presentation Medicare Part B Premium Prepare to get financially fit by practicing personal finance Insurance is part of our long-term risk mitigation strategy where we follow the adage of a measure twice cut once putting a formal process in place looking something like setting the goals develop a plan to reach them put the plan in action review the results and repeat the process periodically most of this information can be found at investopedia medicare part b premium which you could find online take a look at the references resources continue your research from there this is by julia kagan updated january 28 2022 so in prior presentations, we've been talking about insurance. We moved on over to the medical insurance, it being a little bit more confusing due to the nation nature of the Medicare process, as well as the laws and regulations of it and the related premiums. We're now looking at the Medicare Part B specifically and alignments with that insurance discussion. So what is Medicare Part B premium? The Medicare Part B premium is a monthly fee that Medicare beneficiaries pay if they choose to enroll in it to supplement the services available to most seniors for free with Medicare Part A. So we talked about Medicare Part A in the past. For many people, you might be signed up for Medicare Part A for free. In essence, it's not really free because you've been paying into the system through the payroll taxes for a long time. But the sign up process at that point in time at the point in time that you're eligible may be automatically set up and in essence free at that point in time for part a and now we're considering the part b specifically the part b premium medicare part a is hospital insurance it is available primarily to united states citizens and permanent residents age 65 and older most pay no premium for it and once again, they don't pay the premium for it because you've been paying into the system as we talked about in prior presentations through the payroll taxes or through the self-employment tax possibly. Medicare Part B covers other monthly necessary services and preventative care like doctor services, lab tests, and outpatient care. Most pay or flat monthly premiums for it which is uh, adjusted annually. So most pay, pay a flat monthly premium for it, which is then adjusted on an annual basis or annually. There is also a Medicare Part D, which covers prescription costs. It is available from insurance companies that are approved to offer it. There is a Medicare Part C, more commonly called Medicare Advantage. It is for people who choose to enroll with a private health insurer to get Medicare services plus any additional benefits they choose to pay for. Understanding Medicare Part B premiums. Medicare is a US United States federal health insurance program that is funded by wage tax. So in other words, it's being taken out of your wages as you are working. So when you're working, you got the payroll taxes, you got your gross wages, it's being uh, taken out as payroll taxes. So your net wage that you actually received has it's been removed and it's been paid on your behalf to the government as well as being matched on the government side or you might be paying with the self-employment tax if you have say a sole proprietorship schedule c type of business so that is the amount labeled as fica federal income insurance contribution tax so fica is the overarching kind of of a grouping that you might see some of the payroll taxes in which might include social security and medicare for example so that's on the standard paycheck so you have to see that on your paycheck stub all the money that they're taking for you for fica taxes so medicare part a which is free to most of those who are eligible for coverage again it's not actually free you've been paying for it for 30 years right but at the point in time you get it you're not paying any more at that point in time so covers hospital related costs as well as costs for treatment at skilled nursing facilities hospice care and home health care there is an annual deductible for part a you'll pay a maximum of 1484 out of pocket in 2021 and 1556 in 2022 so we talked about those kind of deductibles as we talked about insurance in general and how insurance kind of works in general, the Medicare is similar uh, to, you know, standard type of insurance before you had the Medicare with the deductibles and so on. There is a coinsurance payment. There is no coinsurance payment unless a hospital stay exceeds 60 days. Part B is insurance for outpatient medical care, such as doctor visits, preventative services, ambulance services, mental health costs, and the cost of durable medical equipment, like a jacuzzi or something. No, just kidding. Maybe a jacuzzi would. Well, anyway, 
So the standard monthly fee for Part B is $148.50. Don't forget that 50 cents in 2021 and $170.10 in 2022. It is higher for Medicare recipients who have higher incomes. The annual deductible for Part B is $233 for 2021 and, and uh, $233 in 2022. In addition, the patient pays 20% of the bill as a coinsurance payment. So we got the Medicare Part B costs for 2021. So here's the, the individual married filing jointly, married filing separate and monthly fee for 2021. So individuals, they got the income thresholds here. So you can see that there still is some impact. And remember when we're thinking about these programs, it used to be before these programs were in place that people would kind of have to save for their own kind of insurance and their own uh, their own costs after retirement. Then the programs are put in place and it was kind of thought that they were more safety net kind of programs, welfare programs for people that need them. So that's why these these thresholds on income thresholds make sense. And more and more they're being thought of as standard benefit programs that people, everybody will be participating in generally at some point in time. So we're still kind of have some remnants of these two things involved in terms of, of, you know, what's the eligibility? Is it a welfare type of program, a safety net program or benefit program? Okay, individuals, 88,000 or less, married filing jointly, uh, 176,000 or less, married filing separately, 88,000 or less, the monthly fee for 2021, $148.50. So for individuals above 88,000 up to 111,000, if you're filing as an individual, if you're filing married filing jointly, you got the 176,000 up to 222,000. The married filing sep separately is less common kind of thing. If you're married, usually you, you file married filing joint. But in any case, the premium would be the $207.90 and then individuals above uh, $111,000 up to $138,000 and married people $222,000 up to $276,000 uh, the monthly fee two ninety seven, dollars and then if you're above $138,000 up to $165,000 individual above $276,000 up to $330,000 then it's at the three eighty six ten, dollars and so on and so forth. Medicare Part B costs for 2022, you got a similar kind of table and you can see they adjust the the amounts for basically like inflation uh, uh, on a yearly basis. Eligibility for Medicare Part B in general, Medicare is available to United States citizens and permanent legal residents who are age 65 or older, are under age 65 and have uh, a disability, have end stage renal disease, ESRD, have amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also called Lou Gehrig's disease. So when you first when you first eligible for Medicare, you have a seven month initial enrollment period to sign up uh, for Part A and or Part B. If you're eligible when you turn 65, you can you can sign up during the seven month period that starts three months before the month you turn 65, includes the month you turn 65, ends three months after the month you turn 65. So make it to the window, gotta make it to the window. So Medicare Part C, Medicare Part C, also called Medicare Advantage, is offered by private companies approved by Medicare. So if you choose to participate in a Medicare Advantage plan, the plan provides all of your Part A and Part B coverage, and it may provide extra coverage for things like vision, hearing, and dental. Unlike some private health insurance plans, uh, most Medicare Advantage plans include Medicare Part D, that's the pre prescription drug coverage. So you gotta have your drugs in there, you would think. So now we're going to the Medicare Part D. Medicare Part D prescription drug coverage is an optional benefit offered to anyone who has Medicare. If you choose not to get Medicare Part D uh, coverage when you're first eligible, you may owe a late enrollment penalty if you join later. So you might want to jump in early if you think you're going to need those prescription drugs. And who does it, right? I mean, I would, I can't. That's something I'm looking forward to. Anyway, unless you have had other critical prescription drugs coverage. 
such as that which your employer or spouse's employer may provide. So the CARES Act of 2020, on March 27, 2020, President Trump signed into law a $2 trillion coronavirus emergency stimulus package called the CARES Coronavirus Aid, Relief and Economic Securities Act. Uh, it expanded Medicare's ability to cover treatment and services for those affected by COVID-19. The CARES Act also increases flexibility for Medicare to cover telehealth services. So your doctor can tell you to stick out your tongue like on the camera and then, then you have to put something down there to gag yourself so they can watch you, they can watch you gag yourself on the camera, which is, I, I feel like mainly for their amusement, but there might be something they're trying to get from that. In any case, authorizes Medicare certification for home health services by physician assistants, nurse practitioners, and certified nurse specialists increases Medicare payments for COVID-19 related hospital stays and durable medical equipment. For Medicaid, the CARES Act clarifies that non-expansion states can use the Medicaid program to cover COVID-19 related services for uninsured adults who have qualified for Medicaid if the state had chosen to expand. Other populations with limited Medicaid coverage are also eligible for coverage under the state option. Uh, how much does Medicare Part B cost? Let's recap this thing up. Let's put a bow on this thing and sum it up, tie it together, tie it together. It's, everything's in pieces. We're going to tie it together, people. The standard cost for Medicare Part B is $170.10 per month for an individual in 2022. Individuals who earn above $91,000 or twice that for married couples may pay more. The sliding scale goes from $238.10 per month to $578.30. The average annual deductible cost for Medicare Part B coverage will be $233 in 2022. The monthly cost of Medicare Part B depends on your income reported uh, two years ago and is adjusted based on tax filing status. Do I need Medicare Part B? For many people, Medicare Part B is worth the extra cost. So oftentimes people are gonna be in Part A maybe automatically and then they're gonna sign up for Part B, probably, maybe, possibly a good idea for most, for a lot of people. So it offers coverage for ambulance services. I'd like to be covered if I have an ambulance routine and non-routine doctor visits. So I might need more of those after I get over a certain age, lab tests. I don't like going to those, but if I need to get a lab test and I'd like it to be covered and medical equipment, like my jacuzzi, maybe that's probably not covered, but medical equipment might be covered. That'd be nice. If not covered by insurance, these costs could add up to a giant bill if you have a health problem or an injury. So that's why they're kind of recommending part B. I think most people probably would. So what are four parts of Medicare? The four parts of Medicare include the following. You got part a insures for the cost of hospitalization and hospital treatment most eligible seniors get this for free it's not, it's not for free it drives me crazy but yeah you're not paying anything at the time you get it you've only been paying for it for the last 40 years but whatever and your employer's been paying for it and the current workers that are currently paying into the system are paying for it but okay Part B is optional and covers medically necessary outpatient services and care. This has a monthly premium of $170.10 for most individuals as of 2022. Part C is also called Medicare Advantage Plan. This is for people who want a private insurance company to administer all of their medical services. You can choose your own provider and, ha and you have the option to pay for services above and beyond medical coverage all the way into space above and beyond just like that just like that cartoon character space and beyond or something any case part d is optional coverage for prescription medical and uh, is available for private insurance companies uh, if you have a medicare advantage plan part c that is if you don't know the lingo that we're getting straight here you can add part d coverage to it or you can buy it separately 